Alright, so you can see the windows here in the background. Um, these windows have a, a one inch insulated glass unit of specific glazing, which uh, you know, I'll let Dan explain a little bit more to you about the exterior glazing that goes with this. There's a metal framework and all these individual blocks stack up inside of that framework. You can see here, uh, we left that one a little low. Uh, you can see that that's, that's water actually in that block. That block is filled. Uh, it's about a four inch thick block. Uh, filled with water and specific chemicals for uh, long-term storage issues of water. Uh, it's got some special coatings on there to help capture as much of the solar heat as possible. Uh, yesterday it was in the 60s outside and those windows on the inside warmed up to about 84 degrees. We had a nice sunny day. Uh, we had the open house yesterday. About 100 people come through and take a look at the house. And uh, This is just one portion of it. This is uh, something that you have never seen before because it's never been out of the, out of the uh, testing facilities at uh, Hunter Douglas who's been uh, developing this product and researching and testing. So um, this is their first prototype installation. Um, we'll uh, continue to monitor this system and see how it performs over the course of the next year. And then we will uh, let you know, uh, give you an idea of how much contribution to energy uh, this does into the structure and uh, how much it takes to heat this house. Um, using this system for uh, the primary solar source with a geothermal heat pump as the backup. So. Alright, so here in the house, um, if you've seen my previous videos, you saw a little bit about this house and how we built this and how we constructed this. Um, one of the best things about the features of this house is we've got the opportunity to work with a gentleman by the name of Wendell Colson. Uh, he's re Research and Development Vice President for Hunter Douglas. He's um, been working on this project for a number of years. To incorporate thermal mass into your window system. Uh, he's been working very hard at it. He's developed a product that uh, is not quite ready for market, but we're, this is the first prototype of the system that was installed outside of their, uh, outside of their test facilities. And uh, we had an open house yesterday as part of the Northeast Sustainable Energy Association's Green Building Tour. We had about 100 people come through the house. Um, nobody could believe that there was actually water in our windows. A little bit about the windows themselves. Um, there's an exterior one inch insulated glazing on the outside of it. Um, and I'll show you a little clip from Dan, the installer and developer of the product. We'll tell you a little bit more about that specialized glazing that goes on the outside. On the inside of this, um, uh, it's contained water blocks. Each one of these individual panes you see here is actually an individual block uh, with glass on both sides, specific glazing. Contained this properly and captured much of the sun's energy within the water contained within that wall. So the four inch block, right here, each one of these are into a block uh, filled with water and specific chemicals to help uh, resist algae growth and uh, contamination over a period of time for long term storage of water. Which is one of the things they're working hardest on, and this is kind of a, a testing of this, uh, this chemistry to make sure we get the long term storage of water right um, before they bring this product to market. So uh, here's one of the blocks, I'm going to pick one up and show you. These are pretty heavy when they're filled with water. Um, if you can't see this, this is uh, 16 inches by 16 inches. It's 4 inches thick. Uh, you can kind of see there where uh, we left some of the water out so you can kind of see where the water is sloshing around the top of that block if you can see that. Um, pretty heavy. They weigh almost, uh, I would say about 35 to 40 pounds per, per block. We have to talk to Dan. They actually have a weight on these to tell you exactly how much they do weigh. Um, I believe they're about 40 pounds per block. And when you add up the thermal mass, we have a total of 85 of these blocks in our, in our window system. Uh, what you see behind me here, you see uh, two window systems that are five blocks high and three blocks wide. They go from uh, just a little off the floor to the ceiling height. Uh, they're directly facing due south. One of the other features that aren't on the windows yet, which will be installed sometime in the next month or two, uh, are exterior window shades. And those are solar shades specifically designed to stop overheating within the space. And to help control, uh, when people are at home, we want to control the, those gains. We don't want to, even in the winter, we don't want to overheat the space. So we're going to use a thermostat to uh, control the window shades. So when this room gets up too warm, uh, from the passive solar gains coming through this window, the solar shades on the outside of the windows will automatically drop and it will stop the solar heat gain from uh, overheating the space. So we also have uh, two more windows over here uh, in the living room of this, of this house that are four blocks wide and five blocks high. Um, 
Um, once again, we have a total of 85 of these blocks at 40 pounds a piece. We have about 3,400 pounds of mass. Um, mass can be directly attributed to uh, BTU storage. So every uh, degree that this water warms up above our room temperature, um, within this wall contains about 3,200 BTUs of energy that can be translated into direct energy into the space. So yesterday was a kind of a cool day. We still don't have the rest of the windows in the house. Um, the house is very open, except for these windows. And with a little bit of sun, these blocks got up to about 84 degrees, and it was in the low 60s in the house. So we had a delta of almost 20 degrees. So if we multiply the mass of the water, which is 30, that's approximately 3,200 pounds, um, and we multiply that by 40, uh, we have quite a bit of energy stored within this wall. Um, that will translate directly into energy into the building. Uh, you'll get a slight loss outward, um, but because of the specific outside glazing, it reduces that dramatically and most of the energy will be translated into the house. Um, so we're going to continue to monitor this. We'll show you a little bit about temperatures when the sun shines out, when the sun shines in. Uh, there again yesterday, I think I tried to take a video, but it uh, didn't come out very good. A little, little dark late in the day. Um, but these blocks fell up to 84 degrees. And there again, it was in the, the mid-60s outside. Um, so, without the rest of the windows in the house, once we close this house in over the next week or so, get the windows installed and uh, get this airtight, these will start to warm this house. And once the sun shines, you feel a dramatic difference. It will actually warm the temperature of this house up to uh, hopefully comfortable degrees, tough, comfortable temperatures. Um, we'll see if we get too much sun and uh, we don't put those solar shades on the outside, it may actually uh, have to open the windows and cool the space uh, through the passive solar heating. We'll let you know. We'll, uh, if that happens, I'll take a video to show you. I want to give some credit to a few people in this project. Um, Wendell Colson, the developer of this project, is um, quite a guy, very intelligent, been doing this a long time, been working very hard at uh, helping people deal with solar energy and energy as, as a whole and making things beautiful. He's concerned with the look of this. Um, I think he, he's done an incredible job. Um, this is an incredibly beautiful looking window. Um, and when it's finished, it's even more better than what you see now. Dan Fogarty and Dave Christ and uh, a few of the other, one or two of the other guys that are in their shop actually manufacturing and developing this product. Uh, small prototype shop that have, they went above and beyond to make sure that these windows were completed and finished on time for our open house yesterday, and they deserve a lot of credit for that. And um, they worked very hard, and you can see the result of their hard work. Uh, we have an incredibly beautiful looking product here that is going to uh, change the way people are able to store and, sol and capture solar energy in their windows. Um, we don't overheat the space, we don't make this floor extra hot, we don't get the glare problems you have from pa traditional passive solar designs. Um, so even though we have thermal mass on this floor to the concrete, um, we don't need that with this window system. Because the thermal mass is now in the window, uh, in your floor, and you control the solar shades to actually have a much better control over how the energy is uh, stored and translated into your building. Um, so like I said, we'll stay, stay tuned. We'll, uh, we'll keep you updated as the uh, project progresses. And, uh, so these guys are getting ready to put this glazing in. So, uh, yeah, tell me a little bit about that glazing. What's so special about that stuff? Uh, it's a high-pass, low-E surface, which means all of the solar energy that strikes it, about 75% of it makes it through, while still having a low emissivity surface, which is good for insulation. So lots of solar gain comes through this. We've got Starfire on the outside, which is a very optically clear window. We have a high-gain, low-E surface inside of that, and we're using an Azon thermally broken warm edge spacer, and the unit's filled with argon gas, which also reduces your, uh, your U values. So the idea is to get the, the best U value and the highest solar heat gain coefficient you can yeah, in a combination. U value and solar heat gain, correct. Because I know most, U, most windows with a high U, or low U value uh, tend to have a low solar heat gain too, right? Absolutely. Yeah, most, a modern low E window will only have about a 
35 or 40 percent solar heat gain. This window has about a 75 percent. Yeah, I, I think I've actually noticed some of like the Anderson, the Marvin, the Integrities, and uh, Pellas and stuff. Yeah. With the, to get down to a 0.31 U value, uh, you're in the 0.26 to 0.30 on the yeah. on the solar heat gain coefficient. Yeah. So this gives you the best of both worlds in one piece.